report. All right, that. brother. Let me get through this raw report. Oh, okay. it's time for that? Do you want so the full 14-minute segment? Cena. And uh, it showed up with John Cena showing up, and he said hi to everybody in the back, including Drake Maverick, who I believe is now on the creative team, for those of you asking. And then we had a, a qualifying Money in the Bank qualifying battle royal for the last spot called Last Chance. And so, like, after all of these losses, you get one more chance at the end. And after uh, failing, uh, Riddle ended up winning the battle royal. So he is in Money in the Bank. And uh, most of it was your usual nothing happening, boring battle royal. But the last few minutes with uh, AJ and Riddle, and uh, even even the Miz and Riddle at the end had a decent little segment. And then finally, Miz uh, eliminated or got eliminated, and uh, Riddle is going to Money in the Bank to potentially win the briefcase. And then he could get another shot at Roman Reigns. And given how many people are injured and how few main eventers they have. He probably should win Money in the Bank. They announced just out of the blue, Kevin Owens, Ezekiel, not taking place here tonight. Ezekiel was on the show and uh, talked to John Cena. So whatever it was, it was something involving Kevin Owens. And apparently he's fine and will be back very soon. Maybe even by SmackDown Friday, I guess we shall find out. We had a segment with Cena and the uh, Street Profits. And then uh, the strangest thing we should talk about in the next segment there were videos from a number of individuals, including The Big Show, Chris Jericho, and Brian Danielson, all on Raw. And these were not archive interviews. These were new, putting over John Cena's 20 years. So we could talk more about that after the break. Montez Ford beat Jay Uso. So, literally, we talked about this weeks ago. They have a tag match. Can you just beat the Usos to set up a tag title match? No. They got to eke out a count-out victory. Then they got to do a singles match and lose. Like, nobody believes the Street Profits can win. Well, now, all of a sudden, they figured out that no one believes the Street Profits can win. And now it's a storyline. The Street Profits are all sad with John Cena. We just can't get any wins over these guys. I'm like, oh, you finally figured this out, you idiots. So anyway, they finally got a singles match, and uh, now Montez has gotten a win, and uh, last week Dawkins got a win. So they gave him something, en route to them losing, had money in the bank. We had a Finn Balor-Damian Priest segment with Ray and Dominic, where they belittled Ray for being a legend, but his son is a geek, and Ray got mad, and now we're going to have a tag match in San Diego next week. And I just have this feeling, just like Christian Cage and Jungle Boy, old Dom's jumping ship, and he's going to join whatever their group is called. The What are they called? The evolution, the, what's the name of uh, Finn Balor and Damien Priest? The Judgment it, Day. Yeah, see, I remember it like it's a pay-per-view. So basically, in this case, is Dominic their Julia Hart? Yeah, well, I mean, at some point, he's, they got to pull the trigger on this bloke. We had a Miz interview in the ring, and uh, he said he was going to team with Logan Paul. And they actually acknowledged, I thought they were going to drop it, but they acknowledged Miz laying him out at WrestleMania. And Miz's excuse is, well, you know, I just teach him a lesson. We're going to win the tag team titles. We're going to be a team, which may very well happen, which tells you how much, you know, I don't know why they laid out Logan Paul at WrestleMania. It was stupid at the time, and it's stupid now. Then we had AJ Styles versus The Miz. Oh, what a fun time we had on Observer Radio talking about this one last night. I thought this match was boring as all hell for about uh, 10 minutes. But I, I thought the last three minutes was pretty good. Dave thought it was horrible, like, from start to finish. But anyway, it doesn't matter. They had a match, and uh, AJ hits Miz... I'm not even making this up, with a high-angle brain buster. He lifted this bloke up and dropped the Miz on his head. And at that point, Miz was like, bro, I'm out of here. And he walked to the back and got counted out. Styles is bleeding all over. Apparently, they're going to have another match, I guess. But uh, I thought the last few minutes were okay. AJ was great. And what? We're all surprised that Miz wasn't very good in the match? That's news now? And we had... Uh, it's funny. There was some guy on the board, and uh, and he goes, man, I watched Raw, and when that show was over, to me, there's no way it's John Cena in theory at SummerSlam. <laughs> I was like, 
Wait a second. You watched the show and that's the conclusion you came to? Dude, they had a theory John Cena confrontation. The crowd actually popped for it. Theory runs down John Cena. John Cena just sits there and listens to him and does these funny facial expressions. And then Theory goes for a, a selfie and Cena disappears. And then Theory's furious about it. How does that not lead to a match? Now, I will say that it was weird because John Cena later comes out for his big speech. And literally his speech is, Well, I, uh, you fans are all awesome. Someday I'm going to be back. I don't know when, but when I do come back, it'll be for more than one match. That was his entire comeback speech that he stretched out over 10 minutes. That was weird. We had a segment with saying, Bianca oh, and, and Carmella. Hold on, I'll get to you in a minute. Yeah, Let me yeah, get yeah. through this. Bianca and Carmella have a segment, and uh, Bianca's doing a promo. Carmella comes down to the ring. She has zero credibility as a challenger. She tries to jump Bianca. Bianca sends her packing. That's your go-home angle. I was just, whatever. I mean, she was never supposed to be in the match, but, I mean, this is this is worse than the Street Profits. We had Alexa Bliss promo with Liv Morgan. The dialogue was, I mean, literally, you can't even say the bottom of the barrel. It's like the barrel had no bottom. They, then they dug a hole, and they dropped the dialogue down there. Essentially, Alexa said that she's going to beat Liv tonight. and uh, Or no, Liv said she'd beat Alexa. Alexa didn't believe her. And then Liv beat her. Liv Morgan beat Alexa Bliss with a cradle. And uh, just, oh my God, this whole segment. And it was not Liv Morgan's fault. And it wasn't really Alexa's fault. They just give Alexa the worst dialogue imaginable. And she tries to deliver it, but it's just, it's just horrible. Do I have to hear from the Alexa geeks now? Get out of here. Go listen to another show. I don't want to hear from you. We had the John Cena promo. Then we had a two-on-one handicap match. Bobby Lashley versus both of Alpha Academy with uh, Theory as the uh, as a special enforcer. Bobby beat them both, submitted, uh, I guess it was Gable, with a hurt lock. And then Theory tried to attack him afterwards, and Lashley beat him up three and one. So they're doing a, a hell of a job with Lashley. And quite frankly... I mean, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if uh, if Lashley won because John Cena is not going to win the U.S. title. I guess it's possible that their idea is that Theory beats John Cena, which if that's the case, you may as well leave the title on Austin Theory. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that was the idea, that Theory is going to beat Cena. But uh, there's also, you know, it's WWE, so, you know, Theory can get the rub losing to John Cena. But anyway, Cody Rhodes interview in the gym. He's bored, senseless, having to do all this rehab. But he talked about Money in the Bank. He talked about all the wrestlers. And he said, you know what? If uh, if Seth wins that Money in the Bank briefcase and wins the title, I'll be the first to congratulate him. The story is that he might have been able to do Money in the Bank with a torn peck. But because Seth Rollins hit him with a crowbar or a sledgehammer, now he's out nine months. So they're putting all the heat on Seth Rollins for uh, for that injury. And then the main event was a Money in the Bank qualifying elimination match. Becky Lynch, Zia Lee, Nikki, Shayna, Tamina, and Dewdrop. This was the main event of Raw. Becky's eliminating blowcats right and left and just getting the biggest babyface reaction because, you know, she should be a babyface, but, like, they just have to have her be a heel. And they have to have Seth Rollins and his stupid laugh be a heel. But, man, she's just beating all of them. Crowd's going nuts. She finally wins the match. The crowd goes nuts. cheering. They're just cheering like crazy for Becky Lynch. So I guess next week we'll have to have that heel promo where she says, You fans turned on me, and so I don't like you. And Vinny's driven all the way here, and his camera's not working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. All Riveting. right. Yep. We go that way. Uh, nope. Wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh. the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, oh, here yeah. he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. 
Don't miss out. Join us today.